Live, take it live. We have arrived one more time. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. On this afternoon, we're a little tardy today. A lot tardy. But Shabbat Shalom, we're, we're super excited about being amongst the people of the Most High. Uh, hallelujah. Um, hallelujah. One more time. Let everybody know we on. Let them know we on. Nicole, good to see you on. Benjamin in the house. Good to see, good to see you on. Uh, day before uh, they scheduled the celebration of the mothers. Mothers are so important. Hallelujah, Nicole. Good to see you on. Um, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Hallelujah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Whew. Um, let's pray. Uh, Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Humbly to know how in your presence needing you. I'm asking you to forgive us for all sins. We forgive those who sinned against us. Giving us a clean slate before you uh, 100% um, needing your Ruah, your spirit. The leading of your spirit, the clarity that going to come from you, your spirit. Uh, send a relevant word, a rain of word that we may continue to grow in you. We trust, believe, and thank you. In the master's name, you who shall we humbly pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, in all matters. Amen. Good to see you on uh, Matter Yahoo. Y'all start your own watch parties or push share or, or whatever, 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 whatever we be doing. Hallelujah. I know the word is out. We're missing some folks because they was expecting me about 45 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> and I was nowhere to be found. But we found them. Hallelujah. <laughs> but I'm here. Let's go to Ephesians today, y'all. Let's go to Ephesians. Uh, let's do four, y'all. Ephesians 4. Yep. Ephesians 4? Yep. <coughs> Ephesians 4, mother. Okay. I'm getting good at this stuff. Okay. Ephesians 4. Ephesians 4. Um, <coughs> or do I want to do Ephesians 2? Yeah, no, we're going to switch. Two. The lesson is switched. <laughs> Ephesians 2. Uh, Mother Joyce, since nobody is well, coming with one. Yeah, go ahead and sit down. Take can a spot. Can I get this spot here just so I can rest my back for work later on? Ephesians 2 and 1. And it reads. Oh, let me put some glasses on, you think? You going to read them? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he, I, he, I could have read it without it, but. <laughs> okay. Right now. And you have, you have he quickened, and quickened, y'all, means made alive, right? Robert, good to see you on. And you have he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. Wherein in time past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh within children of disobedience, among whom also... We had our conversations in time past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of our flesh and of our mind. And were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But Yah, who is rich in mercy for his great love, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, have quickened us together with the Messiah. By grace are you saved. 
and hath raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in the Messiah. In the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us through the Mashiach. For by grace are you saved through faith, and not that of yourselves, it is the gift of Yah, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in the Mashiach unto good works, which Yah hath before ordained that we should walk in them. <clears throat> um, again, I mean, it, it's obvious, you know, what mankind is. It's obvious. In fact, um, truth be told, one could look at themselves and get disgusted. Truth be told. Unless something wrong with you. When you don't have clarity of yourself moving forward, everything is tainted. If one don't have clarity of themselves moving forward, you don't even have the proper measuring stick to see, see, see what's really going on. You don't even have the capability, right? If you if you notice what the gospel did, best array, right? But if you notice what the gospel did, the gospel exposed. Right? When we when we were in darkness, in sin, right? We kind of did what we thought was right in our own eyes. Everyone was led by you know what we thought was right or wrong. We kind of we kind of did what we wanted to do, how we wanted to do it, and kind of feel and kind of feel, you know, fine about it. And so, with that being said, um, I, be, I, I don't want to get disturbed. Oh, oh, you don't. Oh, you, you want to sit there? You can sit. No, no, yeah, let her sit there. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, yeah. Well, just sit down. Just sit down, please. Um, when we don't see, when we don't see, when we, we, when we, when we don't have revelation of self, then our barometer, our gauge is off, right? We're in Ephesians 2, y'all. Our gauge is off, right? I'm trying to go somewhere with this, y'all. And so, what the gospel did was expose something to us that we didn't know. Right? Yeah. Other than that, we thought we was cool. Right? We're doing our natural born thing. We're just trying to survive. The gospel exposed the most high the fact that he's love, the fact that he's righteous, and the fact that we not. Right? And now we can see clearly. Right? Now, what happened to the believer, you know, when that happened is we was called out of that from that. Are you with me? We was called out of that and from that. Right? We have Ephesians, the second chapter. Um, we were called out of that and from that. Ephesians 2, if you got to have. Okay. Ephesians 2. Now that you know he uses his, uh, he was able to pick it up and hand it to me. That's terrible. That's terrible. 
He yeah. snatched the page, picked it up, and had it. <laughs> the Bible still on the table. <laughs> but let's look at it, y'all. Look. So the gospel came and exposed <coughs> to us our position. That, that's what it did, right? Because now we know, like the word teaches that the God of this word is blind in the minds of them that believe not. So when you're walking around in sin, you're classified as an unbeliever and you're blinded to a real reality of what's really going on. And that's the truth. You don't, you don't, you, you can't look at what's happening in life and really know what's really going on. Right? So, again, look, Ephesians 2 and 1. And you have he quickened, and quickened me mean he made alive, right? Who were dead in trespasses and in sin. Notice he said, You dead. You're doing you, but you dead. You're breathing and walking around, but you're dead. Also doomed and headed for destruction. Walking around, living, eating, eating, breathing, driving, working, raising families, dead. And headed towards doom, right? Where in, 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 in time past, you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, uh, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. So the, the prince of the power of the air spirit is working in those that walk in disobedience to the most high. That's the spirit that's working. Which renders one to be dead. Hmm? Good to see you on, um, uh, Ramon Curtis. Harper, good to see you on as well. Third verse, y'all, Ephesians 2 and 3. Among whom also... We all had our conversation. If you look it up in the, in, the, in the Greek, conversation is your lifestyle, right? And it says, among whom we also all had our, our lifestyles in time past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind. And were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. Did y'all hear that? We were by nature the children of wrath. Are you getting this? There's a lot of people that don't understand what's happening right now. This world is in a world of trouble. It's not in a little trouble. In a world of trouble. Everybody want to sexually do what they want to do. Everybody want to come and go as they please. Everybody want to feel me, forget the most high, what he's talking about. They look at religion, that, that's, that's separate. I get to that when I get to that. Well, you know, people doing them. People doing them. Not knowing that this is exposing, you're a child of wrath. In other words, when his wrath come, when destruction come, when people get to running and screaming and dying, and, and hell is enlarging itself, you you were hell food. You were you were you were you were you were wrath food. The 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 the, the judgment of the Most High is aimed at the children of disobedience, and they're filled with the prince of the power there. The they're filled with the. With, 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 with being led by their mind and what they want to do. Led by their flesh and their sinful nature. They're not regarding what the Most High is talking about. He talking, he, the, the folks get the point, they say he old school. <laughs> we into something new. He, he better evolve. <laughs> right? Third verse, y'all, among whom we also had our lifestyles in time past. And in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of our flesh and the mind. And we're by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But Yah, who is rich in mercy, look what he did. For his great love, or wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in our sins, he quickened us together in the Messiah. For by grace are you saved. When you start learning... The most high and how you feel about wickedness. You'll understand his grace and his love and his patience, right? Way more, right? All the way down to, if you look at the description of Israel, how he felt about how he chose them and blessed them and they turned on him. How, even though he saved them, he, he, he came to the conclusion he's saving them for his reputation's sake, for his name's sake, because he is love. Mm -hmm. 
he is forgiving. It's not for them because we don't deserve it. Humanity is a wicked species. We come up short. We're not right, and we're fit for destruction. And once we really learn, the, the, look, our confidence comes from the greatness of his mercy and his love. Our confidence comes the words we can bank on the fact that he loves us, but we sure can't take a position like we deserve it. Something wrong if we if we believe we deserve it or earn it. I don't even, I, I don't even care if we stop sinning. Look at all the sins and the things we already did. We we just we it's by his grace, it's by his unmerited favor. It's by him parting, pardoning, pardoning, pardoning us. Overlooking. Having mercy on us. And then not only overlooking, but then he got to supply us with the ability to do it. For by grace are you saved. For by unmerited favor. Our sinful nature will not enable us to obey him. It won't. Our sinful nature is enmity against him. It won't bow down to him. It's not going to. We got to render it dead. Somebody playing stuff. Could you mute your phone, please? But, 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 but our evil nature is exactly that. That's why we had to be baptized into his death. We got to render ourselves to be dead. Because the only solution for the pollution of our evil nature is death. The wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. And the only antidote, the only antidote for sin is death. He died for our sins without question. But we were baptized into his death. Because we need to be dead. The only thing that can solve this, this sinful nature is death. You got to kill it. Hey, look, look. When the gospel came and exposed <clears throat> and exposed our sinful nature, did you know that gave us a full-time job? It gave us a full-time job. And you know what that full-time job is? That full-time job is to kill your evil nature. We got to take we got to take responsibility. Talking with my brother this morning. He said, bro, you're going to have to take responsibility. And I said, you're right. Then I got to take responsibility. But true responsibility is killing it. Not only admitting it, but you got to kill it. Mortify the deeds of it. You, well, look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. For by grace are you saved. You got to know what the enemy is, right? We got to know what the power, the power, the, the power of the prince of the air. You got to know what that is. You got to know what your evil nature is. You got to know that humanity's nature is enmity against the most high. It's not subject to the law of Yah, neither indeed can be. But you got to know that. Because you might deem yourself to be good. You might give yourself elbow room that you don't have coming. You can't, you can't afford to do that. You got to know exactly what the enemy is. And you got to know that, look, when you when you position the most high in your life the appropriate way, right? He's right and only he's right. There's a way to seem right unto a man, but the end of the ways of death, right? It seem right, takes right, sound right, don't mean it's right. What's right is, is the word. And what you got to do is be able to compare yourself with the word, right? And you're already working from a curve. You already got to know that you can't roll with you. You got to roll with what the Most High say. You got to know that. You also got to know that you're not an alien for having evil thoughts, for having evil desires, for having wrong responses automatically in you. Right? The wrath of man working out the righteousness of the Most High. You got to know that. Your response will be wrath. Your response will be to take up for yourself. Your response will be something that goes against the word. And you got to know. But see, 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 the word is what exposes that. The word is the one that shines light on us. The word will shine the light on you as an individual if you want to be saved. It will shine a light on you. Then it will loan itself to you again. Because in the word that exposed, in your hand, it gives power to kill it. And it's the same word. 
It is not a second person. It's not another entity. It is the same, the same word that shines a light. Did you, like the gospel is going out to everybody, right? Mm -hmm. And it shines a light on sin. Mm -hmm. the, the, it, it, for the unbeliever that want to continue to sin and do what they want to do, they're going to reject it. The, the word exposed it, but they, they're not interested. Mm -hmm. And they side it with their evil nature, mm -hmm. so they excuse it. Mm -hmm. Well, the same word that is shining a light on our sin, on our sinful nature, is the same word that will be received into the hand, into the heart, into the mind, into the soul of the believer. That will then turn into the sword of the spirit. To cut down what you just saw. In you. That's what it do. Because it's grace. He exposed it and then he gave you the ability to cut it down. And only the believer is the one that's going to use the sword to cut it down. Right. Cut them out of my life. Cut my sex life off. Cut my dope life off. Yeah. Cut my attitude off. Cut my revenge off. Cut my willingness, my, my willingness to, to cater to myself as opposed to getting to know my creator. The word, the word, the sword, it turns into a sword. It went from shining the light on something to the sword that will cut out all the darkness that it exposed that's inside of us. Ephesians 2, y'all. Uh, what verse was we on? Four. Four. Four, mm -hmm. Four verse. Mm -hmm. But Yah, who, have, who is rich in mercy, for his great love, wherewith he has loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath he quickened, he made us alive, right? Quicken us together with the Mashiach. Well, by grace are you saved? It was five. Okay. Six now. And hath raised up, raised us up together, and made us together in the heavenly places in the Messiah. Right? He has raised us up. Right? Seven verse. That in the age, in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace. In his kindness towards us through the Messiah. He wants to show his kindness to us. And he's doing it through the Messiah. He's doing it through the word. He's doing it through what the Messiah went through to save us. And, and, and when he, what the Messiah did uh, to save us was the word became flesh. And dwelt among us. The word that's exposing our evils. The word that was disrespected by Adam that brought death uh, uh, to mankind in the first place, that very same word didn't let it end right there. Adam went against the word. The word said, okay, then I'm going I'm to reconcile the believer. That same word came down all those generations, I believe it was 75 generations, came down 75 generations or from, 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 from Adam uh, to the Mashiach, 42 generations, came down uh, all those generations to, to reconcile us. To work in the heart of the believer. To work in the life of the believer. To, to, to expose what is wrong and then give us the power to fix it. And it's not by your word. It's not by your thoughts. It's not by your power. The power to change, to be transformed comes through the word. The expo what exposes our wrong is the word. And what cuts down the wrong that it exposed is the word. For by grace are you saved. Preach it. Teach For by his power. We need him to show us what we wrong. And we need him to fix what's wrong. That's right. <laughs> we need him to show us. The believer will see, will look. The scales will fall off your eyes. And you'll be able to look in the mirror of the word at yourself. And the word will expose. You need to change. And will give you the power to do it. For by grace are you saved. Right? Through that process, he's showing mercy to, his, to, to, to the believer. He's showing an incredible amount of, of love. We went against the word and the word said, I'm still your refuge. I'm still your eternal life. The word said, I'm still your mercy. The, the word went into action. Adam went against the word, but the word said, no, I'm not going to leave it right here. 
The, the word purpose, I'm going to come and be your redeemer. In the beginning was the word, the word was with y'all, and the word was y'all. Y'all is his word. Good to see you on, Woods. Second verse, that in the, in the ages to come, not age, ages. His mercy is doing from generation to generation, right? That in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness towards us through the Mashiach. For by grace are you saved through faith. For by grace are you saved through faith. For by his unmerited favor are you saved through faith. And we know that faith without works is dead. Grace is what saves you. But, but, but it's through faith in his grace, in his word. Right? Through, through the, 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 it's the same word that came to rescue us, don't it? That, shot, that shed the light on the problem and then give you the power to cut it out of your life, right? It's that same word, right? That's grace. That's not you. It's not of you. That's the most high. Exposing the wrong. And, and, and what a believer will do is when the, when the wrong is exposed, what a true believer will do is it, 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 then say, men and brother, what shall we do? What, what I'm supposed to do now? Now that it's exposed. And then, and then that's when Peter told all of them, repent and be baptized. Repent means stop sinning. And be baptized into this ministry. Be baptized into the family uh, 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 of the Most High. Hallelujah. It represents being baptized into the death of the Messiah. According to Romans 6, chapter, you're baptized into the death of the Messiah, and then you're going to rise up to walk in the newness of life. And the newness of life is ordered by the Word. Now you're following the Word. That's His grace. And when, and when that process is met by faith, meaning I believe it and I'm going to do it, because faith, faith without works is dead. Believing it without willing to do it, it ain't going to profit you nothing. You're still the children of disobedience. His wrath is still on you. And to be honest with you, even more so, to be honest. To be honest. It's better not to have known the way to know it and, and depart from it. You got to allow Yah to rescue you. He's here to rescue you. And he's not rescuing you in spite of you. He's going to rescue you and use you. He, the, the, the process of salvation is going to happen in you. The death, burial, and resurrection is going to happen in you. We're used to this Catholicized, churchy type of a salvation that's minus our participation. Yeah. We have a perverted view of grace. We want to put grace over here. He's going to save me in spite of me. No, he's going to save you and use you to do it. He's going to gain your cooperation. He's going to give you the power to do what you really want to do. He's going to give you the power to be who you really want to be. He gonna give you the power to change. If he tell you to stop sinning, he gonna give you the power that you didn't have to stop sinning. Hallelujah. Because the wages of sin is death, and he's the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. And he's he's an Elohim that changed not. He said, "I'm not a man that I should lie, nor the son of man that I should repent." If I said it, shall I not make it good? He gonna make it good. It's good. It's good. So 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 his grace. For by grace are you saved. You can't take the credit for it. But it's through faith. You're going to cooperate with grace. He said, Frush not his grace. Don't fail his grace. He said, You can fail the grace of the Most High. You can come short of, He gave you the power and the ability to live right, but you can choose not to, and you fail the grace. You can grieve his spirit. You can grieve the grace. No, cooperate with his grace. Because grace, for by grace are you saved, but it's through faith. Yeah, it's through faith. Bring it out. Bring it Hallelujah. Out. That's why he said in the same chapter, you were the children of disobedience in time past. Now you're not. Now you obey by his grace. Don't take credit because you tell the truth now. Don't, don't take credit. You finally got you off a mattress rolling around with folk, oiling up and rubbing with folks. <laughs> Get a credit to the most high. Give credit what credit is due. You would have cussed him out. You would have slept with you to shot the house up. Yeah. And you and you've done it in the past. But now he called you out of the darkness into the Lord's life by his grace. For by grace are you saved through faith. Hallelujah. Are you with me? Yeah. And not that of yourselves, it's the gift of the most high. It's not of you. This is a whole new 
nature you got. This is a whole new position you got. This is a whole new mindset you got. This is a whole new attitude you got. A whole different lifestyle you got. Because the gospel came, you received it, you was baptized into the Messiah's death. By, you was baptized into the Messiah's death. And, and like as he was raised up by the glory of the Father, even so we now we're walking in the newness of life. I got a new attitude now. Had to let the other one go. It don't line up with his word. My sex life had to change. My responses had to change. Where I go had to change. Who I hang with had to change. What I watch on screens and TVs and tablets and stuff had to change. What I listen to in my ear gates, the music and the things that I listen to, it had to change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not of myself. My salvation don't come from how I feel about it, how I see it, my righteousness. There's a way to seem right unto a man, but the end of it is ways of death. And it, it, it's bigger than me. It's different. It's different from me. It's more righteous than me. It's eternal life. I had death. Not that of yourself. It's the gift of the Most High. He's showing forth his love towards his children. It's a gift. He gave this to me. And he want me to have an attitude of gratitude. He want me, he want me, he want me to receive it, to accept it. Yeah, death, burial, resurrection. is pointing on to a man who wants to die. He expect me to be dead now. To die out to that evil nature. Yeah, that's the expectation. For by grace are you saved through faith. Not that of yourself, it's the gift of Yah. Not of works, it's any man should vote. See, religious folks trying to be saved through the works of the law. Mm -hmm. through, the, through, through the works of carnal commandments. Through, 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 through the commandments that he gave to the children of Israel. He didn't give the children of Israel those commandments so they could be saved. He gave them the Ten Commandments to prove they wasn't saved. Yeah, the, the commandment, the commandments came, sin revived, and they died. Where there's no law, there's no transgression. They were scandalous as heck, but there was no measuring stick to prove it. They still was dying after the similitude of Adam's sin. But there was nothing to prove why. Until the commandments came and said, This is why. Now you can see that you come up short. Now you know you're in need of a savior. All he really wanted was to borrow Abraham's flesh anyway. Abraham believed him. He said, I'm going to borrow your, 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 your blood type, your haplogroup. group. I'm going to borrow your flesh. I'm going to borrow your, 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 your skin tone, your nappy hair. I'm, I'm a Negro. I'm going to borrow your body, and the word is going to become flesh. And I'm going to rescue the world. Through, through, through the, that don't mean your, your kinfolk is good. That don't mean your, your, your bloodline is good. And they proved that they wasn't good. Because all have sinned and come short. We were all born in sin and shaped in iniquity. Mm -hmm. They came up short. But he's still keeping his covenant agreement with them. And you got some wicked folks that don't love Yah, don't love his word, don't love righteousness. Nor, and they hate him because the dragon, this evil system, the Roman Empire, hate the woman that brought forth the man child. And the, man, and the woman that brought forth the man child is Israel. It was a Hebrew woman that brought forth the man child. Abraham's flesh brought forth the man child. And, and you got some folks that hate them and they plan to destroy them. They devils. They're going to destroy a whole lot more than them <laughs> according to their business plan. Don't get it twisted. Please don't. Yeah, they, they, plan, on, they plan on killing uh, 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 billions of people. And they setting it up. Oh, they, 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 they're, they're definitely taking lives. Definitely spraying you so you can't think straight. <coughs> Definitely putting fluoride in your water and spraying you overtime. They spending big money on spray right now. Mm. They tanking. They they, they they spraying. They spraying. <laughs> while while you in the house, uh, they turning this whole giant place into a big old microwave oven. Had you not been locked up in the house, you, there'd have been protesters out trying to stop them from building all these 
microwave ovens, and they need they need all this all this 5G in order to be tracking everybody, because that's what they're getting ready for. To track everybody. And they plan on killing a whole bunch of folks. Don't get it twisted. But, 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 but they after the man child. They, 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 they're, 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 they're after Israel. You can't, you can't get caught up in, in, in you, in your flesh. You can't get caught up in, in uh, humanity, self-righteousness. We need, we need, we need a, we need a savior. We, we need to be rescued. And, and we, we want to look at the Edomites, we want to look at Rome, Amalek. Them 13 families that's behind it all. You, 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 you want to be saved by them. You need to get saved from you first. <laughs> you first, them saved. <laughs> because the wrath that comes from them devils is because of sin. If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I hear from heaven. I forget they sins and I hear they land. You want to be healed. You, you need to be healed spiritually. He let, he let Israel get caught up in a situation in Egypt so they can cry out because they needed to be saved. They needed to be rescued. They wanted to be physically rescued. He, he wanted them to be spiritually rescued. After he saved them, the, the, those that was of, of age, of fighting age, they, they didn't make it in except for Joshua and Caleb. Yahushua and Caleb. They didn't make it into the promised land. Because he still don't, he don't let you go in because of your skin tone, because of because of your uh, 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 hapla group. You, you got to trust the most high. You got to repent from sin. Just like now. When, 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 when he was judging them, when he was judging them, he set his children aside. Now, I'm going to tell you something. He set his children aside. They wasn't rejuvenated yet. Don't think he still ain't looking at his children and what's going on. And don't think the pressure from what's going on won't cause them to start crying out. Don't think that for a minute. And don't think he threw with them. I don't want to go too far into that part. But don't just know he, he knows his children and he going to deal with them and he going to get them right. And those of us that's illuminated and quickened and made alive, you better understand if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my faith and turn from their wicked way, he'll hear from heaven, he'll forgive our sins and he'll heal our land. Playtime is over. He ain't winking at it no more. It's time for all of us to repent from sin. All of it. Every shape, form, and fashion of it. And it's by his grace that's going to enable you to do it. And he's going to give the grace, the unearnable ability to do it to those that believe. For Yah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. He's coming for Israel. He know they've been brainwashed and lied to, robbed of their identity, marketed as thugs and pimps and thoughts and low class, nothing. A uh, beat into subjection, uh, into a... Uh, 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 individualism and separation can't get along, can't work together. That was systematically put in place by Satan and his children. He understand that. You're not a, a big, big enough mess that he don't still love you and that he ain't gonna rescue you. But those of you, the word is coming. You need to understand who you are and whose you are. He tried to tell in Ezekiel 37, can these dry bones live? Good to see you on, Jamaica. But well, can these dry bones live? The answer is yes. He asked the son of man, can they? He's man, he looked good. Man, you know. <laughs> he, had to, he had to defer back to him. Man, look, it don't look good to me. You know. <laughs> he had to tell him to prophesy to him. Mm -hmm. Preach to him. Mm -hmm. Tell him who they are and whose they are. Hallelujah. Prophesy to They need the word. We need the word. Because it's by grace are you saved through faith. Through your faith in the word. We need the word. We need, we need, we need the word, y'all. We need to be able to see something's wrong. We need to see we're in danger. Then we need to know our only refuge. Look towards the hills from which comes your help. Your, come, your help comes from the 
most high. You got you to get away from this place. Come out from among them and be separate. Come on, somebody. What verse are we on? I ain't going to keep y'all. We're going to get out of here. For by grace are you saved through faith. Not that of self is a gift to Yah. Not of works. Not of the works of the flesh. Not, not, of, not of the works of the law. Religion. Least any man should boast. The, for further proof, listen, when they say not of works. We know that faith works, of faith without works is dead. And we know without faith ain't no grace. Because you're saved by grace through faith, it says. It says you're saved by grace through faith. And we know that you ain't got no faith if your faith ain't got no works. So when it say not of works, what is it talking about? It's talking about the works of the law. Carnal religion. It's revealing to you that you can't be saved by, by, by the Ten Commandments on stone. His spirit got to be inside of you, leading and guiding you to all truth. It's not going to be written on stone. It's going to be written on the fleshy tables of your heart. Thy word, if I hear it in my heart, then I might not sin against thee. Then you find out he'll tell you what to do, and it's more than ten. It's a lifestyle. It's a relationship. He said, he said if you love the most high with all your heart, my soul, and strength, love your neighbor as yourself, upon these two hang all the law and the prophets. All the law, all ten, all 613. All of them, all the prophets. Through loving the most high with all your heart, my soul, and strength. If he tell you what to do, you'll do it. And loving your neighbor as yourself. Loving the body. Loving his children. I just had to break that over for y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Not of works, least any man should boast. Last verse, y'all. For we are his workmanship. Created in the Messiah unto good work. We are his workmanship. Created in the Messiah unto what? Good works. I thought he said not of works. See, he's talking about the works of the law. Because we are created in the Mashiach on the good works. Yeah, you're going to do good works. Yeah, you're going to walk in the spirit of love. You're going to walk in the spirit of obedience. You're going to walk in the spirit of reconciliation. You're wrong, you're just wrong. Yeah. You're wrong, you're just wrong. Yeah. For we are his work, which is created in the Messiah. Y'all, how many know the Messiah is the word, made flesh? That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 For we, we are his work, which is created in, in, in the Messiah. How many of y'all know the Messiah is the word, made flesh? How many of y'all know uh, the flesh died on the tree and rose again and is gone? How many of y'all know he came back without the body? As the spirit, the word. <laughs> It was the word that stood at the door and knocked. It was the Messiah. It was the word. Mm -hmm. It was the Messiah because the mission of the knock up from the word was to rescue you, to save you, mm -hmm. to be your Messiah. Mm -hmm. He didn't knock at the door to condemn you. No. He, he knocked at the door and he'll show you, you you were already condemned, but he came to save you. That's what he did. Yeah. He came knock on the door as an ally. To take you through a mind renewal process. Mm -hmm. He stood at the door, knock you, open you, let him in. He gonna start reasoning with you. Don't do that. Don't yeah, say that. Yeah, you know yeah, that ain't right. Yeah. Go apologize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go apologize. Let's go read. Go read. Go read. Go fast. You need to push the plate back. Mm -hmm. Cry out mm -hmm. before me. Change. Mm -hmm. Fix that. That ain't cool. Mm -hmm. Do this. Mm -hmm. He stood at the door, knock. If any man hear, he said, "My sheep hear my voice." Read man here, open and let him in. He said, I come in. And I sup with you, supper short for supper. Breaking the bread of life. He'll, he is intimate. He's, 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 he's exposed and revealing uh, uh, the mind of the Most High, the word of the Most High, the will of the Most High to you. Man does not live by bread alone. Matthew 4 4, y'all. Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word of the seed out of the mouth of y'all. He'll talk to you and tell you his will inside of you. Having dinner with you, having intimacy with you, taking you through a mind renewal process, changing you, changing you into his image. Amen. For we, 10 first, y'all, 
through of this workmanship created in the Messiah unto good works, which Yah has before ordained that we should walk in them. His children is going to walk in his righteousness. His children is going through a mild renewal process. And we're going to become just like him in this world. And we're going to be with him in eternity in the world to come. That transformation process is happening here. It's going down right now. Mm -hmm. Hey, they pushing the envelope. Ooh. The devil, this children is not playing. They running up on him. Mm -hmm. Not on your door. No, there was a bill. You saw the bill already? Mm -hmm. okay. No, they got a bill six 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 four six six. Wow. Oh yeah. yeah. I have it in my in my. Uh, yes. They talked about that years ago. Yeah, it's it's six, it's, six, it's going six. down. That's all I did. It's going yeah. down. They not playing, and we ain't got no time to be playing either. Mm -hmm. That's right. You ain't got no time for no sin at all. You need to get in the most highest face and quit playing because the devil and his children is pushing the envelope and it looks like it's, uh, you know, it's, it, it, it's all gas and no brakes. <laughs> <laughs> These yeah. devils are yeah. yeah. not playing. Yeah. But, but greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world and the most high being for us is more than the whole world being against us. Do not get it twisted. You know I mean? you, if you're on the most high side, get on the side. Quit playing with yourself. All this old church stuff. And already closed the doors to the church. Mm-hmm. They sure did. Yeah, that's what we would have dealt with if we was in Ephesians in the fourth chapter. There ain't number one body. We need to be walking in unity as that one body. Loving on one another, encouraging one another, and so much the more as we see the day approaching, Hebrews 10, 25. But this ain't no game. This ain't no game. Now's the day for salvation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, right now. Right now. We're his workmanship. Created in the Messiah. Created in the Word. Onto good works. And he ordained for his children to look like him. So let's go through the transformation process. Let's, let's understand we used to be a certain way, but that's over with. <coughs> We're called out of the darkness into the marvelous light. Mm -hmm. He has transformed us by the renewing of our mind because we got something to prove what's good, acceptable, and his perfect will in these last and evil days. Mm -hmm. Both right. need to be able to see our good works and magnify our Father which is in heaven. Bottom line, is that all right? Mm -hmm. Is that all right? Is that a good Shabbat for you? You ready to rest from sin? Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom. Shalom, man. Give, give the most high praise because he's worthy. Hallelujah. 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 That was the lesson for this morning. We pray, oh today, this afternoon, we pray that the word found you and unbound you, was bound, and that you really get saved for real. It's time off of having the form of Yahweh denying mm -hmm. the power thereof. Mm -hmm. We need we, we, we need to, we need to do we need to do what He called us to do. <laughs> Please believe it, because uh, because the devil and his children are definitely doing this. I'm glad we on the winning team. Is that all right? Yeah. I'm glad we on the winning team. You better know who's tied in. The flesh will take a whooping. The flesh is upset. Yeah, Vegas is closed, baby. I'm sorry. They want to stick something up your nose. They want to stick something up your nose and stick some stuff in your arms and hands and stuff. They want to, they want to key you and turn you into a sheeple. It's deeper than that. Yeah, yeah, they got they got some they got some they got some unkind plans for you. But it's the most high that love you, and we need to run to who love us. Good part about it, who love you? He the one that got the master plan. He yes, being for right. you is way more than the whole world being against you. I'm going to start preaching again. I'm just telling you the truth. If you were blessed by the lesson, feel free to push the share button so somebody else can be blessed as well. If you're a supporter of this ministry, a financial supporter of this ministry, I'm humbled. May the most high continue to bless you. Um, if you're being blessed by this ministry and growing up from the word of this ministry and would like to be a financial supporter, it's my job to tell you how. If you got the cash app, all you got to do is put in dollar sign uh, Yahoo to Israel. It's dollar sign Y A H U D A H Y I S R A E L. And you can support the ministry like that. You also go to the Facebook page, Yahoo to Israel. 
going back to Nigeria, you can support like that. We get ready to get up out of here, y'all. But we plan to be on if the most high say the same tomorrow at 8. Uh, tomorrow? Tomorrow, Sunday. Mm -hmm. tomorrow, oh, we, Sunday. No, today. oh, tomorrow. <laughs> oh, tomorrow at 11. It's tomorrow at 11 on Facebook Live and on the conference line at 302. 202-1102, extension 815648. Yeah, we do it every day yet now, y'all. And so much the more as we see the day approaching. We ain't going to leave you out. Good to see you on, Rhonda. Good to see you on. JB, always a pleasure, man. Uh, y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Uh, we're also about to put together a youth, a young person uh, study on Sundays, and we're thinking about 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock every morning, and then we might turn around and then do a, a big folks thing at 11, something like that. But that's that's really where we are. We ain't leaving nobody out. I told us to teach our children as well. And, and we need to do some on, on social media platform for the young people. But that that would be on Zoom. We would have a Zoom meeting for the, for the young people. <clears throat> so y'all keep that in mind because we plan to start doing that like ASAP. Again, continue to pray for us and we pray for you. Y'all be Baruch. Rafa Shalom. Shalom. Amen.